first day back to school, the first day of our 2020-2021 homeschool year. I woke up in prayer. I asked the Lord to help us through our day, help me to be the mom that they needed and for their hearts to be ready to hear what I had to teach them. We started our first day off like we do every year. Our tradition is that we have cinnamon rolls on the first day back to school. Lily is my baker. She loves making all of the things. So to make cinnamon rolls, even if out of a can, is her favorite thing to do for the family. I thank the Lord that I have the opportunity to homeschool my children. And not because I'm special or I'm privileged or I have something that someone else doesn't and that's why I'm able to homeschool. I say that I'm able to homeschool my children because he softened my heart. He showed me how important it is to spend our time with our children from the time they rise till the time they go to bed when we're at home and when we're out and about, to be teaching them, guiding them, loving them and enjoying them. Because even in such small things like Virginia stepping in to finish the cinnamon rolls and Olivia playing with her Legos, so much is happening. So much life and learning is going on. And I'm so thankful I get to experience this with these kids that he gave me. We have slow mornings, especially with our Mondays. I've planned them to be easy to slip into as we start our new school week. Making sure that we're getting the things done that we need to, completing our morning chores and our tasks, but preparing our hearts, setting the tone of our home, and creating an environment where learning can happen where fun can be had, and where our children can truly be nourished. Because shouldn't home nourish all of us? Shouldn't it be our refuge from a crazy world? A place of laughter and fun, but of love and comfort. That's what I want my home to be. School is simple. I've always found simplicity wins every time. A simple basket of our supplies. This box here, along with our Bibles, is all of our school supplies for the whole family. So composition notebooks for our Bible, journaling, graph notebooks for our son's math, beautiful girlhood, their reading books, everything that we need for school is all in here. The first part of our day as we officially started school was sitting down and copywriting out scripture. We decided to start in the New Testament from the smallest book and we'll build our way up writing out one verse a day, starting in Jude, verse by verse, chapter by chapter, book by book, writing out God's word, slowing down so that as we write out word by word, line by line, we're letting God's word sink into our hearts. My simple notepad to help us work through our new rhythm. I definitely say in the recent years, this year is going the best. In the kids' open time while we wait for Daddy to come in for our family Bible study, Lily loved getting on under the home and looking at the new stories that she could start reading through. 
sitting down with Daddy every morning as we read through the Psalms and pray together as a family is such a blessing that we all look forward to each and every day. Virginia, our second grader, is reading through Owl at Home with her co-op classes. No one was there, only the snow and the cold. The poor old winter is knocking at my door, said Owl. Perhaps it wants to sit by the fire. Well, I will be kind and let the winter come in. I love watching her grow and seeing her expand in all that she can do now reading stories and working on her spelling, using these mom delight books to spell out her words and draw a picture of each one. These are great little books, so handy. All of our kids have loved them and I love seeing her get to use them now as well. Not every moment is calm and peaceful, especially when you're trying to homeschool while your three-year-old and six-month-old puppies do things like this. Having a planner to keep it all organized is such a lifesaver for us homeschool mamas. So here in my Heirs of the Promise planner, I have everything listed out that we need to get accomplished today. I let this live on my counter so I can check things off as we go throughout our day, which helps me keep my sanity. Olivia playing mommy and cooking in the kitchen was too cute to not get a video clip of. I love having kitchen cabinets with nothing too precious in them so that she can go through the drawers and the cabinets, although we don't have many, and pull out the different things so that she can have fun playing and cooking just like mommy and her big sisters, cast iron pans and all. Guess what I'm doing. What are you doing? I'm making my alphabet with sticks. So you're finding sticks so you can come out here and make all your all your letters, make some words. Good first day of school? Good.
for Lily's co-op calls. She is getting to work with her classmates and present information as they study through the books they're reading. So getting online to do some research, to gather some information, to pull it all together to share later with her classmates. The Babylonians and the Assyrians took over Egypt. Thankfully, she has a big brother so who's very Assyria knowledgeable. Was the Assyrian Empire. The Assyrian Empire ended up getting t- taken over by Alexander the Great. The- Sitting down for math with our 11th grader was a blast. We're using this Math and You curriculum and we loved it. Working through the problems together, looking at real life examples, discussing through them. We both had a great time, me to refresh my skills and for him to learn. And again, checking off a little bit more. Math time with our younger ones, we're using Life of Fred and we love these stories. They're so much fun. Virginia and I reviewed through what she had worked on last year to get us back up to speed as we start our new school year. Biblical womanhood is one of the most important things us as women can be doing and teaching to our daughters. Okay, I got you and over for yours. Ready? Mm -hmm. I like this one. Mm -hmm. It says, rejoice in your youth and let your heart cheer you in the days of your youth. And so sitting down with Lily, my fifth grader, working through this book, Beautiful Girlhood, reading through this, looking at scripture, seeing what it has to say to us. This has really become one of the most cherished things that I think her and I have done together. It was one of her favorite parts of the day, and one of mine as well. And I'm definitely looking forward to being able to go through this with Virginia and Olivia when their time comes. It's not our ideas and ideals that we have to press upon our children. It's God's Word. We should constantly be pulling out our Bibles, going to Scripture, and seeing not the truths or wisdoms that we think we need to give our children or the world thinks we need to give our children but God's word the truth the ultimate authority on everything go to that with our children read through it and work through everything with that biblical lens in Lily's free time she's also doing Duolingo and working on some foreign languages She loves learning different words in different languages. And our afternoon leads us up to our Bible study time. On Mondays, we're going through the scripture that was covered by Daddy in church on Sunday, rereading through it, asking questions, discussing the topics, making sure they understand them, and then giving everyone an opportunity to write out three things that stand out. Our littlest drew pictures, us older ones wrote them out, but we shared three things that stood out, and then we shared them with one another as we talked through these different topics. This is a table that is the result of a great first day back to school and we always want to make sure we get our spaces back to ready when we're done so keeping things minimal and simple it's a quick pickup back into the basket the house is clean school is done and we're all ready for our next day I can pull out my planner check off all of the boxes, dot the I's, cross the T's, and be ready for day number two. Of 
course, some extra snuggles are needed after our busy day. We'll all get in the routine and rhythm here soon. And Olivia is only three, but she is chomping at the bit to get to join in just like her brother and sisters. Puppies playing, hymns of the homemaker, my soft music playing in the background all day really sets the tone of our home. What a beautiful day the Lord gave us. It truly was such a fun day. And I'm thankful for this year at home, raising my children up in the ways of the Lord. Everybody wants to be a plumber after yeah. their first day of school? Yeah. yeah. How was your day of school, that's it, and then you can be a plumber. How was your first day of school? It was pretty good. Pretty good? What about for you? Farming. Farming? farming. <laughs> what was your favorite part of what we did today? I can remember. Beautiful girlhood was your favorite. And I like reading the book. Lois, you weigh three pounds. I'm not sure what. <gasps> you... Hey, don't be scary. Hi, everybody. I like to be a rabbit. Reading Peter Rabbit. Yeah, I like. On Under the Home. That and I like doing the. Uh, I like doing the uh, where we reviewed or not reviewed, <laughs> where we made the points and read Second Peter. That was fun. So rereading what we learned in church yesterday yeah, and sharing our books. Yeah, like there's lot. so much good stuff in there. Mm -hmm. It was a pretty I good like day though, huh? Genesis, Psalms, um, Peter, um, what, Luke, <laughs> um, Ezra. And we're writing out Jude, so that was fun. Oh yeah, too, that was huh? fun too. I forgot about that. So yeah. basically, all day was just a win. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I like hearing that. All day was a win for you? Yep. All right. Lois, Lois. And tomorrow will be super exciting because tomorrow Ow! you guys get... Oh, she just ate your burger. <laughs> tomorrow we She's have co-op calls. So tomorrow you get to do co-op. That'll be fun, huh? Yay! Oi, back at me. Uh, do I get anyone new in my co-op? What? Anyone new in my class? Oh, I don't know. You have to wait and see tomorrow. <laughs> All right, yeah, enjoy your back. picnic, ladies. Hi, Bumby. Hi, baby. Do you want to swim? No? Okay. Do you want to swim with your sisters? What? Do you want to swim with your sisters? I was going to go in it. No. Bun, guess what? Huh. You get to do a co op call tomorrow with Nan. Are you excited? Yeah. You being shy? All right.